The truth is rich. True crime. The vision. Why true crime? Because it's one of my favorites. The gameplay in the true crime games is broadly similar. Both are open world action adventure games played from a third person perspective. In Streets of LA, players control Detective Nicholas Kang of the fictional Elite Operations Division, ELD, a hand-picked autonomous unit of the regular LAPD. In New York City, players control Detective Marcus Reed of the PDNY, a fictional version of the NYPD. Streets of LA was one of the first non-Grand Theft Auto open world action adventure games released after Grand Theft Auto 3 in 2001 and as such was labeled by many as a Grand Theft Auto clone as the core game mechanics are identical to Grand Theft Auto 3 and its 2002 successor Grand Theft Auto Vice City. In both Streets of LA and New York City, the player commandeer vehicles do whatever they want in terms of attacking and or killing innocent civilians. Progress through the storyline at their own leisure, spending as much time traversing the city as they wish. However, the major difference from Grand Theft Auto games is that in the true crime games, the player controls the officer. Compared to Streets of LA, New York City introduced more variety into the open world gameplay. The player able to engage in mini games and side Side quests such as street racing circuit, an underground fight club tournament, and securing CIs. Also new to New York City is that many buildings throughout the city beyond those related to the game's story are accessible to the player. These include pharmacies where the player can purchase medicine and delis where they can purchase food, both of which restore lost health. Clothing stores where they can purchase new outfits. Car dealers where they can purchase new cars, dojos where they can purchase a new fighting technique, record stores where they can purchase new songs for the game soundtrack, gun stores where they can purchase new weaponry and ammunition. The Package Activision revealed the size of the game's Los Angeles had been reduced to roughly 300 square miles. To recreate the city, the developers used commercial satellite imaging, GPS technology, and traditional photographs, with the in-game city stretching from the Hollywood Hills to downtown to Santa Monica to Marina del Rey. They also revealed details of the branching plot, with many levels having two or three opening cutscenes depending on what the player has done in previous levels. They stressed it would be rare for the player to find a game over screen. Usually a failed mission would simply lead to a later level by way of a different path than had the player completed the mission successfully. They also announced the game would feature roughly 100 randomly occurring crimes that the the player has the option of solving with driving around the city. The casting of Russell Wong as protagonist Nick Kang and Gary Ullman as the game's main villain was also announced. In April 2003, Activision revealed the casting of Christopher Walken, CCH Pounder, James Hong, Mako, Ron Perlman, and Keone Young. Several days later, Michelle Rodriguez and Michael Madsen were also added to the cast, so I had a couple of people, huh? In both games, during shooting missions, the game auto-targets the closest opponent. If the player wishes to switch target to another opponent, they must do it so manually. When the player is in shooting mode, they can enter precision targeting at any time. At that point, the game switches to first person where you can just zoom in and then target and then get your guy and boom in slow-mo he's gone. While in precision targeting, if the targeting reticule turns green, streets of LA or blue, New York City, the player can hit the enemy with a neutralizing non-lethal shot. If the player fires when the reticule is red, the enemy will be killed instantly. 
Players can also take cover during shootouts, firing from behind cover when the opponent presents itself. Players are also free to pick up any weapons dropped by enemies. Once the ammo of these weapons is depleted, however, the player the character will drop the weapon and revert to his standard issue handgun, which although it does not need to be reloaded, never runs out of ammo mind you. In hand-to-hand -hand combat in Streets of LA, the player has four main attacks, high kick, low kick, punch, and grapple. After hitting an enemy a certain number of times, the enemy will be stunned, at which point the player can perform a combo by pressing a series of buttons. In hand-to-hand -hand combat in New York City, the player has three main attacks, light attack, heavy attack, and grapple. When the player grapples an opponent, they are free to throw down or hit them with a number of light and or heavy attacks. At certain points during combat, the enemy will be stunned and a meter will appear on screen prompting the player to press either the heavy attack or light attack button as much as possible within a set time. The more times the player presses the button, the more devastating the results special attack. The player can also toggle between different fighting styles and switch to using a melee weapon at any time. Driving missions can involve either trying to catch another car, escape from another car, or tailing another car. At all times the player is in a car. Their car's condition is shown on screen and if the car's health meter empties, the car is close to destruction. During normal driving missions in both games, the player can solve random crimes given by the radio dispatcher. The Outcome Streets of LA received mixed to positive reviews with many reviewers favorably comparing it to Grand Theft Auto 3 and Grand Theft Auto Vice City. It was also a commercial success selling over 3 million units worldwide across all systems. New York City received mixed reviews, with many critics feeling the game had been rushed to release incomplete. It was also a commercial failure, selling only 72,000 units across North America in its first two weeks of release. The Verdict Here's an idea, Activision. You can make a rebound. True crime? Why true crime? Because it's one of my favorites. A remake. This time. You know, maybe if you was born in 99. Or, or maybe early like myself. You could have done this. No, you forget to mention. The true crime. Is a classic. It was compared to GTA Grand Theft Auto. You could have left. A cinematical kind of way. In a cinematical kind of way. It. Had a story, he even had his little fantasy little creatures, zombie type, uh, you know, enemies. Then you even, got, you even face a dragon and stuff. And you know, it, it had his little fantasy, but it was cool. And it had his little soundtrack with music in the background. And then with the little friggin' fighting and the confo and all that. You love that type of stuff. You know? Why not? True crime. Streets of LA. As is. Totally ignore New York City. Completely just put that as a side one. Then you bring back Nicholas Kang, right? Follow the same template. Follow the same way that True Crime was done. Streets of LA. He has to solve a case all the way in New York City. So he goes and travels to New York City. But guess what? His partner, Marcus Reed, yes, from the New York City edition, can be his partner. And now you have to add some graphics in there. You add a little bit of more stories in there so you can make it a longer game. Because people like that type of cinematic storytelling. We want it. They just like show down a little Tokyo, Brandon Lee and Dolph Lundgren. That was a good combo. I like those kind of... Hong Kong martial art movies like the replacement killers huh what about that one huh hard-boiled you know you could have kept on with the main theme the main idea was Hong Kong shoot em up beat em up action cinematic so the verdict is in true crime 
you try to deal with sleeping dogs. But I'm going to tell you one thing. Sleeping dogs, it was okay. But it was his own kind of game. It didn't feel like true crime. You can do that. Get in there. You add some more moves, some more freaking throws and kicks and freaking elbow strikes to freaking then bash him down. And there you go. You have a new reboot, remake for the next gen PS5, Xbox, and PC. So tell me, why not? Video game. So think about it, Activision. You got the idea right there. Reboot, sequel, canon, connected, it keeps going. Okay, case closed. I'll see you next time. From Rich Richardson, I love you all. If you scumbags enjoyed what you watch, hit that like button and make sure that you subscribe so that you get all of this heavenly glory. And oh, and remember that the truth is rich. They're really disrespecting us, aren't they? That's freaking unbelievable.